Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you're joining us from. My name is Kiro Gerstein, and we're here at the Bechstein Center in Berlin that are kindly hosting this online session of uh, international music seminars, Prussia Cove. And we're in Berlin. We couldn't be in Cornwall. We all miss Cornwall and the special atmosphere of the IMS seminars. But luckily, we have this opportunity here in Berlin with a few of the participants that were originally selected to be in, uh, in Cornwall. And we'll start first today with Luca Burato, who will play some Debussy preludes from the first volume. We'll start with the first one and go through a few of those. And um, we're here even unmasked, so you can see our faces, because we have been tested and tested, and even as recently as uh, half an hour ago, again. So, um, so in these strange times, we are here, but the music is here, the pianos are here, and hopefully you're watching, and we can listen first to Debussy and then to the other participants. So everyone, welcome. So let's, uh, let's talk, we'll just go uh, one by one, and uh, each one is such a tiny little gem but an own world. Um, so as, as, as beautiful as it is and intelligent as it is, um, one of the thoughts is that with, with Debussy, um, I think so much of the music that we're exposed to German, so-called German, uh, Russian music, has um, this developing logic that's, let's say, of the uh, world that's very awake and uh, verbal in some way. Schumann, perhaps, is the one that's much closer to this in a sort of um, dreamlike state that anything can happen. And I think with Debussy, very much um, there is this 
for me it helps to think that, that this is a, a logic of a dream that so that it's not that because of this chord now comes this chord they're not arbitrary obviously but there is this kind of um, anything can happen feeling that I think that I think can be more and then of course it's very much prescribed what should happen so it's some of the most um, subject to interpretation music and at the same time it's incredibly carefully notated so within the Western Kenyan this is quite um, canon this is quite uh, unique um, and my impression since at, as an impression at the end uh, so there's some suggestion of a typo with with Debussy in these pieces and this has something to do with dance so literally I find that the, the dancer uh, can have um, more varied gestures which eventually are even more varied gestures of what happens with with the hands but finally most of all what happens with the with the sound impression can we try one more time things so I think you normalize a bit the situation for me because one of the things for example there is this uh, opening of the mouth that that each time so doesn't succeed in a normal way the and then so I wouldn't normalize that because then as normal music this loses uh, the other thing is that he tries very hard with this mm, so-called portato, and this is perhaps truly legato, so... So there is a danger to sort of butter it as a general oh, so impression of an impressionist, but the impression is in some way very refined. dancing is very quick with waving the arms and it's <laughs> because not only you but uh, a number of our esteemed colleagues uh, have a very comfortable time with the <laughs> and now this is a both a slower tempo and uh, uh, and and it takes a while for it to start happening but <laughs> But I would love one more time to say it I will be a pain in your neck. I am a pain in your neck since a long time, I know. But it is not perhaps unimportant that the piano, piano, piano. Pianissimo. So I guess he, you know, he was not uh, uh, losing time simply to so decorate it. Uh, this is a different thing. Um, even here, so in defense of what the hell was I saying with this, um, uh, not having the kind of dialectic uh, argument in the piece. Um, when, it pr when he tries the second time, it's perhaps simply that. This is so, one more time. Uh, I'd enjoy it one more time. Because you, it seems that you, you want to have a sense out of it, and then second time. But it's, that's perhaps from a different, um, uh, well, over the border. <laughs> Now he decides to continue this way. Ah, this will be nice. What should he do now? So uh, 
there's a great amount of um, non gratuitous pleasure, but there's a lot of so, huh, that would be nice. <laughs> a glass of rose, a second glass of rose. <laughs> One more time. It was already suspicious before. It's like you realize, uh, oh, okay, okay, and now, oh, there's a crescendo. Go on. So it's a bit, um, and perhaps this this swell or whatever this uh, hairpin, uh, it's a warming of the room temperature, but it's not a. Again, I'm not sure it's a structural crescendo. Perhaps he doesn't assume I would yeah, that it is. Yes. So I think the picture changed. But um, but as long as this fits within some so frame of the thing, because it was sounded a little bit so. difference of how, how much black notes and how many white notes there are so that you have <laughs>
But not the same, and not the same guided by the fact that uh, uh, the hands look for the shape and the control of the chord. This is really a bit disconcerting. Um, you don't have to do that particular thing, but I would, I would maybe take it a bit more seriously. Otherwise, it sounds like a general sense of. But uh, I'm not sure that uh, even the beginning formula is quite solved with mm. that there is this kind of walking uh, and sustained. I understand it's uh, it's more difficult, but uh, as another dear friend says, it's more expensive. Uh, and and then this is a variation with. Uh, Possibilities to also do something with the with the middle pedal, but not not here maybe. But
good question, but perhaps it does go over. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> Habanera and this kind of um, uh, Spanish Mediterranean um, dance-like motions are not far from uh, from him, uh, and um, therefore I think. <laughs> because the um, a bit. Uh, disappointing thing locally is that because it takes time to do the pianissimo and the jumping and the that, that, that this timing is a bit so washed out, but I think if one looks at it in a more mm, straight thing in the eyes, then the um, In some way, we know it's an afterthought, the title, but it should be a bit justifiable. So, so if the dancer was so unsure where to put the foot, and therefore it so it wasn't quite a habanera like thing. So I would consider that this is um, the, the middle pedal with a. I think, and then in such a case, then perhaps it's a middle pedal and the left pedal, which would give you a knee problem. But but it's more than. Well, I think I would turn. If you turn, and then and then you can control the middle pedal. Uh, and you're already on the so <laughs> yeah, so, so, so <laughs> welcome to the life of an organist <laughs> with the three we got to choose. Yeah, this is so one can look at it more, but uh, for the sake of time, we'll look at the next ones now, but, but this is something, and especially the, because this is already some kind of, let's say, fabric, uh, but it's not sewn together, you know, in a, in a, in a yes, so let's, uh, let's, let's, let's hear them, let's hear the next one.
swaying is also not entirely un undance like um, and of course this is one of these um, Debussy pieces where sort of everything is through a prism of, of um, well, through a particular lens in this case so that so and then everything is happens uh, with it being a constant but in some way it's independent uh, it's there and other things uh, one more, one more time, could we? Yes, at the same. And at the same time, I was asking myself, so, uh, so, so without this uh, rigor, uh, but at the same time, if it becomes uh, this um, thirty-second, if it's too human and it's so like a swallowing sixteenth, then then perhaps it loses the, the chance. Uh, that even in in a rather slow and flexible tempo, but perhaps it is not allowed to be gone. Then yeah. One more time, sorry. Terrible question, but would, would everybody that's watching and not watching uh, know that it uh, starts not on the first beat and on the second beat? Oh yeah, would we yeah, do very mm, and, and some of the It's a bit so um, suddenly it's uh, all the water is drained. This is a bit, I find a bit questionable. You're right. Uh, but I think there's a way to our show are that there is an articulation and a portato and a legato, but without <coughs> the. Um, and of course, uh, it's very bold and, and good that you play <laughs> one hand. Uh, 
but I could imagine that uh, that uh, that they are quicker also. Um, yes, and then the next question is: it, Is it really that, or this is good? It's all good except that for me, this this you know that. Uh, that this is happening, this, uh, yeah. but I think it's a, it's very much what they say in English, it's very much an about face, sort of. and original to normalize it. Um, before, it's, it's good. Uh, I was wondering... Uh, on one hand, one could so put it under the soup of Owl, of course, it's uh, so a general impressionistic pedal B flat, but since there is, no, there is a rest that he wanted to write, then perhaps the... thing I guess so also trying to I think this is quite a bit of teaching as you know is a bit so <laughs> that you you make a statement and then you try to justify yourself so why did you say that so why did I say um, about that uh, so what do I mean with this um, prism or lens and then different things it sounds to me that you a bit try to integrate it in a, uh, in a non-conflicted or non-conflictual uh, way that this knows that this is plays with this um, and with this. Yes, they do. But in another way, it's sort of there there are the people that are tasked with this that take it very seriously. Then there, there are these people. And these are not now, aha, you're playing, so there is a this is happening. And this and this are not necessarily in complacent about each other. They're continuing their things. You know, does that make some sense? Yes. Uh, a traditional yes. piano teacher thing would be said, well, it should have more layering. No idea what, uh, what, that, what that means. <laughs> but, but I could imagine that there are things that are happening so in the same uh, showroom, but, but they're um, both connected by the virtue of being at the same time and not necessarily that they are in complacent agreement.
Um, uh, one question, I would try, and I don't know what, what, what happens, because uh, when I tried playing, I didn't try that. But um, with this, of course, nobody's saying that you should have a clean pedal at some point, but I wonder if at some strategic moment, like in measure uh, 22, if you hear, if you take also the B flat as a middle pedal, and then of course you play with the right pedal, but you manipulate more. pedal but then the pedal is generally more shallow that I would love to have this sustain but also pages and a, and a half and um, so I guess he means something by it <laughs> so I would just you know even the audio, because he hits the E flat there is there is this uh, pff, uh, bubbling of the here and it's also very daring that he is uh, how long is enough of this uh
doesn't then say, okay, we're back to E. He first says, most likely it's an E, but I don't know. But yes, you're right. And then again, I think this, uh, this say in the back is completely oblivious to all of this. this uh, so as much as you can play it. Disappointing that uh, that you play similar, boom. But I I I'm okay with this boom. But this is a um, this is the tenuto one. So. is a bit so the answer at the end of the story. Uh, you know. So I would be imagining this is for myself the of course I know it's much easier to uh, when one actually plays that for us but the possible that this is later that it occurs. Yeah. quite liked uh, B flat obviously yeah. on in this particular <laughs> yes which is so it's let's say it's not accidental and if it's accidental then it's this is uh, quite so impressive uh, how, how <laughs> accidentally so it like yes so uh, and even <laughs> so he gives up the position uh, very clearly Yes, so let the...
with the, the wind on the planes, uh, it, uh, it's a bit so steady blowing. And <laughs> not to be offensive, but slightly more like a artificially produced so air conditioning, in the sense that I think the, the gusts of wind, as you say. And, and uh, for me, this is inherently unstable, no? This, uh, this construction. Uh, I imagine also, you know, these uh, the Tesla coils, this is sort of the, the this is buzzing electric current, and then if you stick something, there's a ksh, uh, the, the little quasi lightning that comes out of it. So, uh, <laughs> I think the thing is so um, under high currents, you know, there's when they say there's a danger, there's a high voltage. Um, so, uh, also there's a But uh, this, this is, should be, uh, I think, if possible, in that quick tempo. Yeah, pop, 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 pop. in Brahms, but you play the walk, walk. But, but here really I think not a sort of a new proposition or a new, um, new argument. You are, so you are um, uh, agreeing with the thing, but, but perhaps the thing doesn't agree with itself at all. It so uh, <laughs> argues with itself. Yours seems to me more so over aquatic something because uh, uh, I feel more also, I mean, it's a little bit on my side because there's a lot of so semi dry notes, but I could imagine here also. So that it's um, not to say at all. Uh, no pedal, but that it's, it's not such a deep pedal. It's, 
as much as yeah and then especially the we don't we stop because this is quite loud and also this is quite loud then we don't we i think it obliterates that it continues blowing with less pedal because this is a uh, in not in I love it well enough, but this is yeah this is better it sounds uh, Rachman enough like not in the best sense <laughs> It's somehow it's almost like a it's a sound effect. A wah -wah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So it's not like a bo bo bum. Uh, I know it's ba ba bum in pianistically. It's not easy at all. But I think if you think of the effect as a wah 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 wah, it's a one gust of wind rather than three landings. Yar <laughs> I think you have to, there is a certain motion that's like pebble throwing. So the second one is not because you are throwing like there's a parabat. And I guess uh, that this is more first this part of the hand and this is more this part of the hand. And I guess also trying the same position but there's a this is probably lower and this is probably higher am I playing something yeah but I mean, these strings are so long it will it will stop the sound. So you are, uh, you, it, you are. Uh, this is uh, this is not so difficult, but you are rather slow with this. So this is only it's, it's this one that comes quite late. But uh, perhaps to compliment this uh, this recording of Mr. Kochish this is the most striking that I know so like it I think I would aim for this moment that it almost sounds like an electronic instrument this, you know
want to scare the piano tuner and you just go. This is very out of tune. So. Yes. Yes. It's so good look at for me uh, even when I watch uh, the so-called melody or let's rather call it motive the the fingers are a bit so calm this way of <laughs> Uh, it, it blew away, it didn't stop, I think. I understand it says so slightly slower, but it's not, doesn't know at the end. So I think we should be, the ear should be shocked after this. Yes. I think we have to, uh, I would love to, you know, could just continue and continue and continue, but I think on the basis of this we should, uh, we should uh, stop here, and I think aus hygienische Grund, so uh, wiping down of the uh, crime scene, <laughs> and then we shall continue with Mozart for those of you that are watching, so this was Luca Burato, see for the first three preludes from the first volume and now we'll have Alexander or Sasha Stichkina playing Mozart D major sonata the piano wipe down has occurred
joining us uh, very briefly. We're at the Bechstein Center, kindly hosted by uh, the wonderful piano maker Bechstein, and we've been tested over and over, and this is why we're even allowed to show our physical faces, not only musical faces, and this is, of course, IMS Prussia Cove. Um, as much as we like Berlin, unfortunately, we're not in Cornwall, which is where IMS Prussia Cove takes place, but some of the participants that were selected for the live sessions in Cornwall, we are doing this in Berlin. And Sasha uh, Stichkina or Alexandra will play, uh, will start with the first movement of Mozart's uh, K284 sonata, the D major one, and then we'll see how we, how we go.
semi-automatic we call it now um, <laughs> good uh, so some of the places here then perhaps <laughs> we can say are semi-automatic uh, in the current version but perhaps they're uh, much more manual um, <laughs> manually executed in the best sense so um, with the facility that that we know you have then it's of course uh, also the devil that tries to <laughs> take you off the uh, of the righteous path because uh, so in places like uh, uh, yes but the, so the the dimensions of the thing among other problems but the dimensions of the thing are so then uh, Skewed because uh, this is doesn't fit. Uh, in, no orchestra could the okay. uh, So it's not the first time you're hearing it or anybody else. But but it's worth mentioning, apparently, that um, we're often misled by the scale of the notes that we're following, and then we come with a very um, imprecise uh, arithmetic out of it so so if you're following the 16th notes and so you you had uh, eight notes times times four and then so your conclusion of what is 32 uh, turns out to be very different than the conclusion of what was four big half notes or or one uh, big chord for for two measures and so and it seems that the larger scale as often is more then uh, so so you arrive at different stations uh, so at a different timetable than, than, than perhaps Mozart's publication in 1775 the timetable so how to get from Munich to Berlin with the Sonata he said but you should have stopped uh, uh, at the dominant station at uh, 708 but you were there at 706 um, it's not about that it's early but often it is early but the, the proportions are so uh, we are a bit misled by them but let's start one more time and then and then we'll see um, a bit more in detail what was what happened in the big half notes <laughs> <laughs> in a good case, it's good recycled, but um, but there's no orchestra uh, or no battalion of people that will follow you into this D major uh, event with such a. <laughs> so there is no if there is no upbeat, then then there is no peace for for some time, at least not a <laughs> anything, but. <laughs> It, but I imagine there is a more of a question of a. I know it doesn't fit to 1775, but for the purpose of 2021. <laughs> ask uh, I, I see the trace uh, uh, the trapinka uh, in the forest more but then how how are these so getting along <laughs> that truly the next big step is the so when you see a dominant then so you have to so say so <laughs> I recognize this is a <laughs> you are an important figure in our in our little uh, kingdom animal kingdom here I am <laughs> Uh, 
uh, feel that this is with you, it comes in an undisturbed uh, normal time. Somehow, yes, but it's somehow not. So, so I guess in uh, some high hidden way there is a double dominant before somewhere. Also, by it's a. So there's already, uh, it's a good playing with the expectations that three measures is that four measures, it's more optimistic than eight measures. But so I guess one of the wonderful things about a great composer, Mozart being somewhere quite at the very top of the, uh, of the list uh, conventionally, uh, that, that out of these so seemingly terribly simple things, then there's already uh, quite a situation that arises that he man he manages also to do a lot of things immediately uh, some uh, question mark uh, and now it's even I and the bars are not entirely so symmetrically as a as a more average composer would have done but if you are um, not uh, um, attentive to it, then, then the thing is a bit so, yeah, we should wait till uh, at least Schumann or Chopin for some, some good, <laughs> good entertainment in the concert hall. One more time. Uh -huh. uh, yes, uh, somehow uh, this seems to be so, uh, yes, but, uh, but it doesn't sound like that. And so it's, it's a bit so, um, Trouble free for me. The in German, in German, they say einwandfrei. So this is so. It's somehow it's functioning so well. But but the thing is functioning well in a much in a much more. I think this is so. There are joints in this, uh, and maybe even they're not two times exactly copy paste copy paste. <laughs> like that then somebody will send a, a complaint uh, but uh, but uh, yes uh, 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 and could we imagine that possibly there is a there's a there's practically an uh, a turn there Understanding that we have with it. Uh, I understand that it's a so. But not. Yes, and we spoke that uh, so he's quite enthusiastic about the Mannheimer Schule and the fact that uh, so wow dynamics this is uh, that became very popular in the, in the later 20th century so a lot of dynamics but but there is some uh, true enjoyment of the of the game uh -huh. So it's it's better uh, uh, for me still 
so what is going to be the motto that we write on the wall and the next time we want? But uh, that it's a bit so uh, trouble-free, uh, but good trouble. So you should, you should get into good trouble. As a, so to a young lady who would say, so don't get in trouble, but into good trouble you should get <laughs> here, nowhere else. But here, a good trouble. Yes, and of course you know, which is good, and, but also then mm, don't be uh, terribly behaved that then it's the same. So I, it's true that these are big notes and but uh, also there is a variation just like if I was so um, clearly uh, impressed that it's not, but you play in very similar uh, hand and very similar notes, and uh, so we are a bit um, in a sort of uh, bureaucratic setting then. And look at that, terribly excited to do something, the double basses, yes. So, because until now, perhaps they go, so the horn players have a big, uh, big day, and then maybe they go, but now this is so, the life, the life uh, has been made worthwhile. And these colleagues also are sawing away in a, in a way that is so, um, very happy for the double bass players that so <laughs> you have something to do and they're very supportive of you. <laughs> yes, but it's, it's better but that the orchestra will not be supportive if there is a certain uh, prolapsing in the double basses because if they play tam tin tam 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 ti so uh, so i guess also here there's some hierarchy of the beats pianistic reflex and then there is a pedal uh, stamp but then we actually don't hear the turn <laughs> which he was uh, a big better orchestrator. Uh, one hears with you. This is a lucky, not a lucky orchestration. So better would be that with the, with the double basses, there is a cellist also. strategic but very uh, uh, cunning uh, the uh, 
So I would try to think that uh, that this is not just because uh, you know he always played the same the jazz players say same licks. So you know, <laughs> but just so it's contextual. Ah. <laughs> Dominant, dominant. Uh, here we were uh, under the guise of the uh, tonic, and here we. Uh, incidentally, I'm not entirely so uh, insane, but. Uh, or if you want, maybe you should play for yourself. Just not to have the same. So, uh, could, and could also, um, sorry, I dig it. You play, you play very well, and so this is worked out how to play a good staccato and this, but. Uh, also, perhaps more handmade. Uh, uh, yeah, a staccato note for this one. Uh, and I guess. Counterpart to you because this is a bit sober, but I'm also busy with the 16th. But uh, and we and this is its own quality that was a. Uh, it's not very far from. With, uh, they cooked with uh, uh, similar ingredients. Yeah. The, so that they are cut approximately to the same dimensions, but 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 it was cut by hand, the, the pasta, not with the machine. Yes, so in any case that we we know that it does not express four sixteenth notes. It's that the four sixteenths are expressing uh, something. <laughs> so it's a again an ornament variation rather than a prescription for excellent. Eh? So fresh. <laughs> but especially in this context, that you are really not obliged, or perhaps you are obliged not to play uh, these so smooth eighth notes. <laughs> so um, they are, uh, there's plant, you know what plant obsolescence is, is you know, when they, des they designed that the iPhone, that's why you won't say iPhone will get sued. We do so mm -hmm. that uh, some phone, Gadget is designed that in two years it's so uh, obsolete. It doesn't stop. It work. It stops working. So you need to buy a new one. But this is so. This is not planned obsolescence, but it's planned unevenness. That this is not a. <laughs> and even this, he doesn't pull out of his. I won't say what on YouTube, but. Uh, <laughs> So, so he says he has a very uh, 
small periods of being very amused by, by these uh, sighing appoggiaturas. <laughs> How, how nice. And then he moves to something else. But, but a bit so implied, not a, not a, yeah. sure but I could uh, imagine when I look at your hands that the um, that you are a bit distracting yourself now less much less than, than you used to but there is a it has an independent life of this uh, beauty and when you do this uh, and it so it does it does that anyway but but you in some way don't give a chance for the mm, contour of the notes to really influence the contour of the hands. one reasons why Mozart is a good composer in this moment, uh, among others, that he doesn't immediately give up this idea. So uh, clearly now something new starts, but then so then so yes, and then also now uh, he tries the uh, before we had it so. like that, we try like that, and so there's a, a nice, again as the Germans would say, Zusammenstellung, a nice so combination of uh, like that, like that, like that, and then, and then something, something next. Uh, maybe from... That if the if it depend if it, if the thing depends on a crescendo, then the thing is suspicious. And you do <laughs> this is maybe not uh, not the essence of the. Uh, <laughs> this is the essence. It doesn't depend on. So it's uh, so get into good trouble. Uh, be disturbed by things. This be disturbed by things is the <laughs> and believe me, in some way dissonance obviously was more expensive in 1775 than in uh, you know 
you wanted to play them but but you were under some some compu compulsion of uh, <laughs> even somebody probably won't come to give you a a, a straf if you if if this is if 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 one musician here plays a bit beyond the beat this and then there is a sort of mission accomplished the young This is so, um, the thing is um, more filled with obstacles in a good sense or, or objects. Because when you play it like it's four embellished notes out of one harmony, then we think so there was no obstacle here. In the good. So the point I'm trying to make is that I think often the air resistance is, uh, is uh, much thicker than. It's not thin air. Sometimes you play through air, but maybe it's water, or maybe it's a very stuffed closet, or maybe it's an elaborately aligned uh, so obstacle course uh, like. <laughs> But uh, this is, seems to be uh, rather, um, I hate to say the word surprise, uh, because this is so cheapened, especially in music pedagogy. But it is, but here it is not to be expected. <laughs> Which is essentially what he does, but then he's, uh, he has this thing, but up, up his, uh, sleeve or in his pocket that, that also it can be expressed in not the same dynamic and even a very different kind of motion. So instead of... Uh, <laughs> and I'm back to 
the same. And we think, okay, enough jokes for today, but so uh, uh, our our Mozart uh, Unser Wolfgang, he has a lot of so. Yum <laughs> tiddy This is um, not um, in the same uh, in the same allegro. The jam from dream. Speaking about jokes, so he's, uh, he knocks uh, from this side, from that side, from this side, from that side. <laughs> so because you. Uh, <laughs> so finished? No. <laughs> ah, in minor now. So, and before we say. <laughs> and before they have a chance to sort of. Uh, Regain their balance, then the But all the other times they tap ram bam 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 ram bam 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 ba ram bam bam bim bam bam ba ram bam 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 ba bom 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 bom. So I know you don't want to, but it's my so sorry uh, job to <laughs> to report that this has been at least not uh, clearly pronounced your your wishes. And and the other thing is I would uh, among the simple pleasures uh, simple in in quotes. Uh, uh, simple pleasures is the uh, the direction the with the th that the thing goes in the but he doesn't uh, he doesn't write uh, he write So he's uh, he's playing around with these so Tetris blocks. Yeah, be careful. There's also there's also the. I understand, but but they don't know that. That this is jumping because there's somebody that plays very well. Tum pum 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 pum. It's two different people, so there's no jumping. This is the the zombie of the staccato because he. There is no staccato. It finishes. Yes, very much. It's, 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 bet, it's, it's better for me, much better. This, this seems to really help. The your um, but they are uh, still too many of the same uh, model. It's, it's a little bit like, well, you know, well, we've got six of them. 
Why don't you buy the variation ones? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, uh, more, 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 more. This is uh, not uh, here. And also, I think the variation is in how quickly is the entrance of, of, of these. Yum, pum, 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 pim, pum, pa. Pum, 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 pim, pim, pum, pa. Yum, pum, pum, pim, pum, pum, pa. Ya, ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, to. Bo, 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 bo. I'm exaggerating, but that there is a certain, um, when there is a bit of a discussion, people don't, don't <laughs> enter precisely on time. So, I said this. I said this. I said this. And I said this. So people usually don't argue like that. Because I said this. And I said that. Well, I think this. No, I think that. <laughs> no? Or do you argue differently? You don't argue. <laughs> Sorry, to spend some time on this, but it's okay. Uh, there's uh, somewhere also the culprit of pedo that they uh, <laughs> of the <laughs> not each time, but sometimes there's some alteration, maybe unintended, unintentional alteration of the articulation by the means of the gas pedal. <laughs> thing but it's so it's haphazard pedal <laughs> then it's much easier to uh, see the musical situation so uh, perhaps it's good again it's not as simple as say so Mozart don't play pedal or Mozart don't play pedal but don't play don't play <laughs> unfitting pedal anywhere <laughs> be, it, be it Mozart or or Keith Jarrett uh, <laughs> The only other thing I would say now is that I have a feeling that in this uh, one little discussion, at some point the uh, other voices also want to a bit so <laughs> that there is also sixths and and. Uh, <laughs> yes. Another myth that it's not uh, such poor texture in in Mozart. It's very it's very good and sort of again economical and refined. But uh, that there is that sound and there's that sound and there's also so good. if we try to imagine ourselves in the skin of the uh, composer, I think he's very proud. And then I wrote this chord. Look. <laughs> How do you look like this one? So you're a bit so... So, yeah, of course he wrote these chords. It's, he's Mozart and it's been a long time there. But... Uh, It's one of those, uh, so look, look, dad or mom. So we were just here saying, oh, could you imagine that I was going like this in, in, in 20 seconds? And look, so, and then we even modulate. So, so, 
at this at this at a certain point they said, well, is he gonna be able to make it back? Yes he will. <laughs> so of the pedal that uh, so you take out the whole thing first of all there is not uh, uh, likelihood that so as they also say in music lessons which I always found Confusing, just you have to feel the, the distance. But yes, but so, but it's some, in some way true. There is a there's a very big distance, and it's not about the octave, but it's also about the um, uh, so distance of some sense. So again, this is a much more charted uh, obstacle course, in a good sense, obstacle, than um, with less objects. tests like SAT they have so which of the following objects does not belong in the group so if we take these eight uh, if one takes all of these which one is the least belonging to the group which one of so there's eight in this two measures which one for you is the, the most uh, non-belonging or turning uh, just pick out of the eight I'll just give you so one two three four five six seven eight which one is the which one is the good but you don't quite play that uh, <laughs> explain that but it's it's worth to make it a protracted thing but because it is a turning point imagine that another thing worth to um, pay attention to in, in so the rehearsal of your chamber orchestra here is the the orchestration because um, well or like Mr. Buzoni said that the unison is the most concentrated form of polyphony that, the <laughs> that this is two voices uh, playing rather than so okay it's an octave so and even the second time so the recapitulation uh, maybe um, it's now not as um, 
self-evident, but it so recognizes itself. Ah, I am the recapitulation. <laughs> But also a yam pam tim tat tam. It's not entirely. Yeah, so some good conductor is doing something inside. Yam tim tim. sometimes yourself by the nose and you mislead yourself because then you even get quicker because you go uh, it's head spinning literally but you don't want to uh, yes, so like there are these wonderful occasions in early jazz especially when uh, the whole so the whole Dixieland is, is playing, and then there is so uh, a solo instrument is going to <laughs> and they all start again. Or in pop music, or anything. so this is not different. But if the if the clarinetist is uh, off in the timing, then the band doesn't come uh, come in happily, and then <laughs> the whole thing is so. Uh, he tried to to do a good joke, but it's so. <laughs> fell a little bit flat, but Maybe now, so, when one comes to the reprise, one has new thoughts, just like <laughs> music. So uh, I would imagine if one continues the analogy with this so clapping and and uh, and uh, uh, jazzying, uh, then I, this is a bit too simple that uh, that the people here they go pop, 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 of course it's a subdivision but I could imagine they yum pam 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 so there's all sorts of uh, uh, clapping, and and not uh, not uh, sort of <laughs> yes. This is a bit so uh, yeah, so wrong chapter. <laughs> Sonata Allegro hinges on this, that now this is going to be uh, in the key, in a different key in the exposition, and here it has given up its position. <laughs> so again, it's a terribly uh, turning of a point. <laughs> You play. Uh, should be 
So it's also less of a straightforward thing. It's an alternative, but not quite. <laughs> So uh, are you happy that this is uh, each time very similar to the So maybe uh, that sometimes it's a forward looking and sometimes it's so backwards looking. from the fact that it's so unaware that it's a second time. I'm not saying play differently second time, but... Uh, <laughs> it's in some way saying so. Und noch einmal, ich razok. your own wishes that, um, that the tonic is very similar also to <laughs> and finally somebody could say it's not a very, very good sound whatever that means but uh, but it, do it does seem to be so uh, poked in a way that doesn't fit to the before and to the after <laughs> in, in any way resolution though it's forte <laughs> Also, uh, such good composer that uh, that first time only once and a measure. Here, half a measure. <laughs> One more time, the whole go around. So one hears a certain metric structure, and then this is so uh, a pedal washer. <laughs> it's much more <laughs> if it's if it's without pedal. Then <laughs> I think there's too much hand waving and too little piano playing this because you want to Uh, yes, 
And could this, this be so copied as... Yes. Yes, so it will <laughs> it just takes some effort, but you can do it. So, so again, it's a higher expectation that this and also that this is flute and oboe, that they have a, a nice uh, unisono um, composite color. The same. Yes. Yes. So. makes you play slower because you but don't uh, because the conductor is going look the conductor is not conducting the players are doing that but he's just going or she or at big subdivide keep on playing Gentlemen, ladies, uh, yes. Even this broken, such good composer, uh, because I and here's a and now is a joke in one place. Uh, get to there, but they uh, Yes. So, uh, so what is the, um, what is the implication that be Debussy, but is especially or not especially be it uh, the so-called classical style that it's, as we see, it's, and I'm sure we just, you know, this is one passing and there's many passings and and the thing is very rich in uh, um, cliche, but nevertheless <laughs> true. It's so very inventive and very filled with invented um, occasions and occurrences. And so there is uh, much to be um, listening for, but also much to be doing. And so as well as you uh, play with the first version and this first complaint as you know but it's it's a bit so uh, uh, too uh, life is too easy that uh, that you um, don't uh, make yourself go through this so in a good sense jungle so then then so then this catches your clothes and then so here you have to walk a bit slower and here you have to uh, turn to the side to pass and even then sometimes there is a Brook, so you have to jump over somewhere. So it, it bit so it goes it goes forward, um, but there's uh, um, much much more jungle-like, very organized also. So it's uh, so if you follow the thing, you don't you don't uh, perish in the jungle. But you cannot walk into the jungle and say, well, this is like the Kantstrasse. <laughs> Okay, but it's a wonderful, uh, such a wonderful uh, piece. It's very entertaining. Good. So we uh, wipe down again, I think, because everything is so well organized here at Bechstein, and then we'll continue with Raoul in a couple of minutes.
And we're back. We continue the IMS Prashakov, um, you could say, on tour. Uh, in Berlin, we can't be in Cornwall uh, this year for obvious reasons, but IMS Prashakov perseveres nevertheless, and so we've been able to organize uh, some online lessons here in Berlin with the help of the piano company Bechstein that's kindly hosting us and uh, even provides testing, so this is why we're allowed to be unmasked in these uh, very masked times, but um, uh, speaking about masks, we'll have Turandot's uh, Frauengemach uh, by Ferruccio Busoni. This is the fourth um, elegy, and uh, Raul da Costa, uh, who was one of the, or is one of the participants that was selected for the live um, uh, sessions in, in Cornwall, will play the elegy number four by Fantastic piece, a fantastic end. So this is uh, so uh, undermining, <laughs> undermining the whole thing, undermining itself. Um, so um, one impression this um, that we discussed or we did discuss that was the magnum opus of Busoni is this. Dr. Faustus, the opera, and I think he was so identifying with the figure of, uh, of Faust and with this kind of figure of the alchemist and the 
and um, the he gets very fascinated with the illusion, with the unreal, with the uh, kind of deception, with the, with the magic, uh, black magic. So all these things. So uh, the point uh, that I'm getting at, hopefully, is that so the whole thing is perhaps shouldn't be very real. And then sometimes, especially when Buzoni's pianistic demands are uh, threatening you slightly, then the thing has a chance to become a bit so um, too real, <laughs> the struggle. Uh, also, and so perhaps we should look at how is the whole thing like a um, devilish little toy gnome that he conjures psh, and then so it's so doing including so singing this yum ding 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 and then uh, psh, and smoke so it's very it's very smoky um, you you know this the 13th rhapsody of, li of Liszt with Buzoni the recording no no this is uh, those of you that are on YouTube you can so immediately go this is uh, so he only recorded uh, as you know 25 30 minutes uh, acoustic recording from the piano rolls and this the 13th rhapsody of list perhaps gives uh, the closest impression of so that this was one of the greatest uh, pianists that ever lived and there I have the distinct feeling once you get past the surface noise which I think is not difficult to get past um, you see that he so conjures uh, whatever uh, two lovers, or and then, then, then there's a gypsy band, and the cymbalom is playing, and the, and the violin, and then the sh and the thing is like, oh, this is all so in the palm of my hand with with magic, and it's disappeared. So, so I think this is the kind of thing that is very much in his music that we also very cultivated. Mm -hmm. And the beginning, I could uh, th this this was so mm, a, a good illusion. Then later it's less of an illusion, but let's, let's, let's try one more time and see what happens. <laughs> One of the things I would try for myself that I wouldn't, I wouldn't play the four um, arpeggiated chords exactly the mm -hmm. the the same, especially the, that that eventually the so even though so. this kind of uh, splashing about in the G major water, but not necessarily that it's so, it has to be <laughs> And then this is of course the first uh, undermining this. Uh, <laughs> so maybe this is also its own uh, thing. We were, you were not here, I think, when, when Luca was playing, but we were discussing that in the Debussy, in the second prelude, that, that there are these different things that are doing, mm, they're leading their own life without necessarily mm, coordinating it in such a direct sense. But there. So these are, but this is already. Whatever can be strange about it is is, is good, I think, uh, or it's my personal inclination. <laughs> but um, but I think, but I think, oh, uh, perhaps Buzoni is. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
this I like I like mm, this is better for me mm, uh, by by the way mm, uh, you you want to somehow change here uh, you, I think you're, you're very worried about playing this together right I think not uh, because it's the reson resonating mm. much more disturbing than the not together is the changing of the pedal this is My impression is that the second finger is not, uh, it doesn't have a good uh, guidance mm -hmm. system for mm -hmm. sort of GPS of where to. Uh, <laughs> and I think so, so I think also mm, there's much more um, kind of this. Uh, baby hand motions of so <laughs> their fingers are constantly mm -hmm. you know how babies do this so there's a constantly it's a bit there so fingers are wow this is mine and i go remove it but uh, but in some way this is useful for for piano playing because it's not uh, it's not very successful with positions so you're ba -ba 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 -ba, but it, mm, much more aquatic. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's all much... I, I see a hand panic here. <laughs> So I would be purposefully slower moving for myself. So <laughs> calm yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <but laughs> uh, so tell me honestly, mm -hmm. how d are you thinking? Ti ra ri ra ra ra. Because I would, so at least for the hand, I would think that the so I, I think maybe more so yeah, bom, bom, bim, bom, bom, bim. yeah, not about the auftakt, but that just that, that there isn't this from here I jump to here. This is, this I think, what's to avoid that this is a new, new thing, so that this it starts. And here also, actually, mm, because one of the problems that I noticed uh, trying it now is that, uh, of course, this is an octave, and now we have a tenth. But I would already, therefore, uh, start extending above the octave here. So by the time you've slid up there, it's a pr approximately a tenth. Uh, this has been the one of one of them was better, but you understand the idea. The other thing is, so uh, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. So this is because this is another weirdness. The, the suspensions. But don't do it with your with your lovely eyebrows. Do it with the with the finger that's playing it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it needs to be it can be said that it's much more audible with the fingers than with the eyebrows. <laughs> Uh -huh. And I 
guess uh, it's very good. Um, Start so, yeah, so it's yeah. not a it's not a ochi chorni but uh, but that there is a, a motivic some reminiscence. This is a bit one of those uh, 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 accentos desperados. <laughs> so it it works in most contexts, but it's not the um, most noblest solution. It sounds a little bit so uh, an emergency accent. But uh, more importantly, um, and it might that might be easier because uh, it's it sounds like you try and practically succeed to play uh, even so that the but I would uh, or that it's a one unit for you but I would be more um, uh, provoked the so there is a the second one is so imitating or annoying that the first one the uh, you play I don't know uh, you mean that it should be yeah so yeah oh you mean so yeah. No, actually, probably the, the bad thing is I'm playing by ear and I'm just pulling you, so it sounds maybe a bit like that. But <laughs> yeah. So perhaps, yes, this is more uneasy. This is better, and it sounds more um, so selected than it's a bit strange, what? It's a bit strange to have like. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, uh, so two things. A, I don't find this is so irritating, this uh, so slight uh, drunkenness. And by the way, Buzoni used to apparently uh, want uh, to drink two-thirds of a champagne bottle before his recital because he said otherwise his pulse was too calm. So, so he's not averse to drinking. In fact, he died here in Berlin in 1924, and one of the last things they were doing was feeding him tablespoons of champagne while he listened to, I think, Mikhail von Zadora, uh, play some Mendelssohn songs without words for Mendelssohn was not his big favorite composer. Anyway, so he was not averse to alcohol, but that's aside from the point. Um, maybe it's even of okay, it's already okay, or I would practice this what you call slightly drunk um, metric placement, and then you can play it more uh, so strict. But it would be nice that it's installed in you. <laughs>
Yes, it's it's good at first, but now you you lose a bit the same patterning. This is a bit so. Uh, what, is, what is now the movie, the Godzilla versus uh, King Kong, or this is such a <laughs> But it's all a bit in this. So uh, uh, maybe you know, who knows if he cancels Dolce even for this più vivo distaccato e ritmato. <laughs> but uh, maybe I'm not sure why they take out the uh, the swords. <laughs> Much better for me from before. Mm -hmm. For you? Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> either you can continue or you can uh, change course as soon as <laughs> at uh, 10 in the evening today. But uh, I guess um, the disturbing thing in this is that it shouldn't be that Mr. Buzoni's invention uh, of arpeggiated. <laughs> that it becomes the kind of the downfall of the thing. <laughs> then this not, was not a good invention, uh, because uh, at the moment, unfortunately, the song sounds that uh, <laughs> So, perhaps too drunk. <laughs> It's a this is <laughs> right now I did, and uh, so I wonder. Let's say this: he was, uh, uh, say in America, he was no slouch. So, so maybe, maybe it's really meant to be the difficulty. <laughs> But uh, but before I would uh, submit to play, then I would rather. But perhaps this is not the the meta, but maybe that is a, is a, is a, is a you know, the fork against the knife is a quicker. Because you also want or end up playing quite a slow breaking. Ping pom pidem ra, but ring ping pom didem rem ping. One more time. Uh -huh. This maybe is also again uh, that it's that you are thinking in so understandable panic, uh, hand panic, that it has to jump from here to there. <laughs> you do this. But <laughs> it also could be that therefore you compress the time. <laughs> but imagine that you didn't have to play anything afterwards. Happy life. <laughs> Now, all you have to do is just uh, get rid of the, the broad silence. But in some way, it's, I think it's true. So in some way, maybe Buzoni from his uh, uh, grave here in Berlin is, is, is saying, 
don't uh, don't play this like an auf auf tag yam tirim bam yam dam dim dirim ram dim da and that the shape of the measure is uh, not symmetrical the yam bam dim dirim it's uh, again it's an artful depiction of a drinking song it's not it's not a, it's not quite at october fest yam dam dim dirim ram dam ram dim dim dirim ram the first two, three were, were better. One of the things, and I understand, but the fact that you also want to uh, rattle your neck is, uh, I understand, but well, so it, uh, the appearances. The fact that you uh, do something with your neck cannot be helping here. Uh, because if anything, it, so you, w you would want some, some uh, thing smooth, but you instead, you know, the, it's here, yes, <laughs> but uh, you know, I guess if I were you, I would practice uh, for a while. It's a bit so your hands suffer from the post traumatic syndrome, uh, which is fashionable, to that they're in a hurry. So I would, uh, the therapy for this. Uh, PTSD uh, of the hand would be that that you quite calm yourself regularly. <laughs> and then and then without losing that and switching back to the other ha habit to do uh, to do this closer in time. So when you're in this position, afterwards, this is unlikely that, that this is so. <laughs> but whatever you can do, incidentally, and it's not only here, uh, whenever you see your hand, or I see my hands, or uh, this is already, so this is something to be uh, done. So. It's not a returning thing. It's a new thing. So I think eventually, though I don't play this, but I imagine that uh, one wants to cultivate the feeling that's very um, leisurely. Yum, dum, yum, dirim, riam, dim, bum, dirim, bram, dim. One more time. But still, even uh, now, I don't look, I listen in the ear. You're this is very quick for you, and, and this is quickening. <laughs> so, yeah. Would you tell yourself as an experiment that, that, you'll, that you will try not to play the last three sixteenth notes accelerating, but rather dissipating? <laughs> And eventually, of course, uh, I would not think about it at all because the jump, if you want, if there's any jump, is from here. This will play by itself. You already can start thinking that you are calmly moving your hands to. that you lift this so much, mm -hmm. it makes it slower, the whole process for you.
bad conducting because even this is uh, admittedly not hard for you. But you do, a, I would understand more if the panic was only with the right hand, if this was, this was a, and here you are, but, but you do it symmetrical with both hands, the panic. You do that. So this hand is calming this hand rather than this hand is freaking this one out as well. So then everybody's freaked out. So. Could we play the second verse da, 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 from here? <laughs> Sound clearly enough uh, if we follow what you were saying. Uh, what are we doing now? Is it a uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, one, two? So, so maybe uh, because you get yourself into a very narrow situation, and so so it's probably in your interest to play one, two, one, two, one, two, uh, and not. Yeah, here, yeah. This is better, because then we're, then we're less busy with, will he manage the, the repeated notes in the speed and we're more busy with... Uh, this is a better thing to busy ourselves with. Yeah, I think I'm sure he was very proud of a beard. <laughs> what is it? So not without function. The trying and partly succeeding with uh, but uh, it's more of a noise rather than a Italian, but not so Italian. <laughs> so it's only a reference to something, but uh, but he's not uh, so getting into a fight in Sicily, you know. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't 
sound like a mistake. Is that you play yam from the pedoi because he This is again, it's it's very uh, thumbing the nose, uh, Mephistopheles like. joke it's not the This is a bit so uh, 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 too big and uh, it's not <laughs> so many notes, but <laughs> and it's he only writes forte. Uh, one more time, does he? that there's an accent and, and you should lull everybody into the sense of security. <laughs> Like you want to have a top that that is at the uh, beat, and then and then this is not good that that the and then it doesn't come <laughs> so I think uh, this is all the beat from. Look, the beats are like one would want to wave. The It's before, after, and during. Yeah. Okay. A little bit surprising is that these activities are divorced for you because they're very similar. It's kind of uh, written out at different speeds, so, you know. Because it seems to me that you are playing here notes, and here I play arpeggio, but uh, <laughs> a bit so uh, the the boat that they. 
they went on the way. It's so getting flooded with, uh, with some uh, storm water. But uh, it might be also easier if it's a bit clearer, the whole thing. <laughs> Can, can you play slower? Uh, yeah, but then, then because it sounds uh, accidentally like one, the ear expects. So then, then please make us uh, feel the. successful this is also a certain noise eh? <laughs> also for you not for because now you're so successfully uh, uh, thirding with your stars but <laughs> but I don't think anywhere we could guess that this is a dolce piano and then he writes leggerissimo this uh, <laughs> does it always have to <laughs> when it's picantemente it's not like a little uh, dash of pepper it has to stab your tongue with a, with a knife <laughs> so yeah <laughs> that he writes mm -hmm. I'm sure he was not the only one that uh, that wrote this but if you look at what he wrote that one of the things he says is when you cannot connect one of the voices you 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 play the legato the other voice mm -hmm. so I wouldn't well, you concentrated it in another way, but... Uh mm. Yeah, and now without stopping... Mm -hmm. This is better. for slightly more main vo notes. Yeah, because this is then um, a deciphering of that. Uh, <laughs> Good and it's good. 
good that you play the thing, the, his fingering, but um, there's somewhere, there's too much of this, as so a bit surprised the, f the thumb and the... the, the But maybe, maybe the no need to close the fingerings, uh, fingers like this, and also no need to hold so low. But yes, yes, that was better. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. For for again for being a sort of this uh, mm, illusionist like, I see. Uh, a lot of uh, fingers moving. There's a, there's a bit so like this, but maybe it's all less lifted. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I know we're all very busy there, but uh, don't forget to play. start quiet you want to uh, now I can you know uh, show my crispy fingers but but there's a <laughs> yeah and then also uh, there's um, the, cr the swell to, to the end of the church not there uh, So it's not a, it's not a. It's it's a noise of the chromatic scale, and the thing continues so dancing away because here you did so. Uh, you want to play the Sturm und Drang, but the yum tum ding. Sure, Bosoni would approve. Uh, I have a feeling that. No, don't do one, two, three. I think there's a lot of. See, I think there's a lot of fives here. There is a four, but then there's a five, and then a four, three. Yeah, and uh, conveniently, and he, since we know that this is a fingering that he used, uh, he even ends with, then you, are, then you end with this. But anyway, this is not bad to practice. Uh, I mean, this is a typical so-called list mm, chromatic fingering, that this is a five, and this is a three, and this is a four. It's not always just like you know, <laughs> just like my grandma taught me <laughs> you know, songs that my grandmother taught me. But uh, I mean, also obviously, the there's but uh, but here it's quite convenient. <laughs> unreliable noodle to play to play with you know this stuff <laughs> when will it play will it play how will it play <laughs> mm. 
because inside, let us remember, it's not noodles, it's a hammer. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do whatever you want but this is a bit <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, or is it not to uh, miscount how many it's not the right of string <laughs> is not going ta 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 maybe there's some grouping no team because you play or well it says quasi tromba but let's say it's not in this it's not a without a, a group in any case team if the glissando can be also so dolcissimo because you're a bit so then you show your uh, virtuoso side yes but yes Bechstein so yes and so maybe yeah we're It's so noisy. This is better. Uh, so, and perhaps you don't need to be in such, uh, you don't need to be, I think, in such hurry. The same. Because everybody's so, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> following you. Maybe could this be the EO? Mm. That because I you look like uh, you will tell the joke, but the I guess many times for yourself. Mm. It's it's almost should be like you. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> Better when so the yam tipa pa pam pa pa pam. So not late. The late is so then, and of course we discussed that that in some way that uh, this is the finish for the first part, and the A major E, ma e major is for <laughs> so so it's not that he is so completely loses the plot as they say. It's very much following the following the plot. We don't have much time left, but let's hear, because I think uh, so few people have heard uh, the ballada by Viana Damota, who was, wasn't a student, no, he was uh, yeah, so yeah. associate of, so he was in the Busoni circle. Yes, and they played, but I'm not sure he was really a student, no, he was more a colleague and even so closer to him in, 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 in age, um, and also quite associated with Techstein, no? Mm -hmm. Well, so in, uh, there's that famous, gorgeous picture of uh, Bosoni's apartment on Victoria Luisa Platz in, in that grand uh, living room there, two concert Bechsteins mm -hmm. and some statue of Buddha and some tremendous lamp, all very theatrical, but then the building was bombed, so now there's only a modern building with a plaque 
But as I told you or not told you, the Billy Wilder also lives in the same the, the same direction, and and, it's, and it says the plaque says that he has lived with me, and underneath there's a plaque. Also in this house lived Billy Wilder. <laughs> also, <laughs> anyway, let's hear the.
nice, bravo, thank you. We won't, as I said, go into that now because we spent the time on the Bosoni, but I wanted uh, you to play it and for people to hear this beautiful piece. And uh, perhaps we can look at the recording of this together and, uh, uh, in the next days and then, and then talk about it. I think for me, in some way, the especially the opening can still have so mm. this, uh, the, the rhyme is not as simple as a ti ti to a to 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 this, uh, this is not quite a uh, soul for for my taste but uh, but it's generally attractive and then there's some very attractive lee played played things bravo and uh, so we shall wipe the piano down as uh, is proper and then have uh, unity play Chopin for us. We're back, we're still in uh, IMS Prussia called uh, Mentally. We can't be in Cornwall uh, this year for obvious reasons, but uh, luckily Irma Wehstein is hosting us and hosting some online lessons with uh, participants that uh, were selected to be uh, in Cornwall for the uh, IMS Prussia called seminar. And uh, Yundi will play the Chopin uh, Sonata Opus 35, uh, first movement. If you're surprised that we're unmasked, it is because at Bechstein everything is possible, including testing. So we've been tested and we're very negative, which is the new positive. Um, so you play and then we, then we talk.
Enough for me, so generally the impression is, is it on enough on the substance of the of the thing, or is the substance clear of the of the piece or of the composition? L even if I forget that it's by blessed Chopin, so all bets are off because it is Chopin. So what could we go? But in another way, so if this is not by Chopin but just simply a good piece, then uh, then things happen that we are so used to now. Says oh. Open, so it's often something like that. But then, uh, if we look in the in the score, is it quite like that? So let's 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 look with all your advantages. Actually, you know, this is great, but I think we could be more on the on the surface of the of the tarmac. Um, so what what do I mean? Uh, that the <laughs> much more conflicted and much more agitato than, than this, so why uh, is not making that impression perhaps that the pedal is so maybe too generic and maybe the, this is perhaps too similar. But we will look at that. Let's start again and I so try to interfere and then you can forget the interferences afterwards. <laughs> or not. <laughs> it was uh, totally your choice. <laughs> I'm confused that, um, so again, it's like every other piece that we've heard today. They are in very different ways, or sometimes in similar ways, very daring. And, and I think this is one of the <laughs> top daring ones. <laughs> and, and even, yeah. yeah, no, so, no, uh, well, simply so, but uh, also perhaps. Um, <laughs> It could be in so many keys, and so it's rather surprising that this is so. It's a B, mi B flat minor sonata, and the, and this terrible truth of where he has led us is coming out very quickly. <laughs> so, so already this is a, a terrible conflict, you know, and a terrible. Led down in the best sense, and and also that this is a D flat, um, and the E natural is okay. This is still possible, and then the C sharps and G sharps, and the and for me this was a bit so peaceful that. So, so this is very much a doch, you know, this is doch, B flat minor. But if this, is, if this doesn't um, shock us already as a stab in the heart, this is um, then perhaps uh, not a good use of this bullet. Yeah, one more time. What were you doing before you were playing? No, I think this is okay. Harmony is okay. <laughs> the bass is good uh, before. Uh. As you wish. And, <coughs> sorry, I guess I would also not uh, overlook that essentially. <laughs> For me, I understand it's proper to play a resolution softer, but you are. I have 
no idea, but the <laughs> this is already also, if this is a, a grave with a a la breve time, so what is the time? <laughs> I guess the other question of uh, why Chopin and why is this okay, that uh, I'm so used to hearing this without a particular um, time that would be expected if this was, I don't know. <laughs> so there we expect well, some, some time and some nice little sounds. But this is Chopin, so it's a bit then. Now, anytime. For you, a question of, or is it because there's a which which voice is where and what is the resonance? The and then there's a there is octaves, yeah, not a that there's a single note and this is not an octave, yeah. He he cuts the the pedal before because you play. It's not a um, it's not a implied. It's not whap but but yeah. Don't you think that there is a uh, not an exhalation? There is an inhalation. He. Ventilation, uh, good ventilation here. I can see. Okay, yeah, very nice on the CD. Uh, and by the way, I think well, this is mm, the danger of the editions in Mr. Corto. I don't know if you really need to change your finger. Or this is but it doesn't help for the uh, shock effect that you, <laughs> you do. That every uh, so grandmother and great-grandmother knows that she, you're about to do something, but... But uh, not sure that how the cylinders of this uh, engine work. The, the, the pistons. Yeah, you <laughs> because you play this, I hear okay. But and he's not a very unclassical composer. Not very far from Mozart. So these uh, uh, two note uh, slurs. And this is what what does it tell you tell us? Well, there's obviously if it's two notes under so it's two, but what does it do to the first note under the slur? Yes, it tells it more emphasized, and even so, possibly timing is not the same. That they're not 
exactly the same rhythmic value. Uh, so there is a, it's really, I think, quite like distant, but maybe it's not a, a cold machine, it's a very hot machine. The sea And then he kind of shows the machine so the camera <laughs> zooms in and out. This and then comes the, the next uh, 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 entry. Yeah. Partly it's his fault, but but basically it's not his fault at all. But this uh, this uh, uh, pedal contraption it makes the thing. So I know it says pedal, but it makes the thing much more um, calm and sort of stewy with the. the <laughs> but incidentally, especially growing up in Paris, have you tried some of these uh, old Pleyels and Eras? Schopenstein. Mm. So the thing is in some way much more brittle and much more noisy and even with pedal that there's a lot of the <laughs> and the pedal is mostly like this. It's not a <laughs> so this wind machine affects this comes <laughs> with the late 20th century pianos. Mm. Uh, and but but so as a defense of my saying then perhaps the pedal is not so deep that we and also each time there is an opening there this so sticks its head in and also that down not down so it's it's very melodramatically conflicted, like silent movies. But you, you're a bit so so it's a, it's a bit for me uh, anti agitato. So I would feel that each one I'm playing in a slightly different place, not uh, not spinning in the same. So. <laughs> 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 somebody, somebody will rightfully complain that this is not good if it's two times <laughs> even if you do some um, sort of uh, manipulation but not twice the same <laughs> So I guess we come to the point that, that maybe they're, they all look the same on the printed page, but that the, some are quicker and some are slower of this. Eh? <laughs> so, of course, this is both obviously slow and exaggerated, but, but that they're not the same is not exaggerated. That might be really true. So uh, I worry and well, I want to uh, try to um, propose for you not to be uh, relying. It seems that you want to achieve the agitato by a general crescendoing, diminuendoing. That he rombor, 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 rombor. But it doesn't produce the agitato. The agitato is produced by the uh, the individual uh, cells of this, so being being placed in such a way. So it could be piano or forte. The mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and even this, this uh, so-called hairpin, and we know in uh, Beethoven Schubert, but also we know in, in Chopin that this very well means the, the certain timing, rather than that. It means tempo. You want to say entertaining with dynamics, but the, the the thing very much depends on the um, hyperventilation. The so it's literally what then they write in the reviews. Breathless, breathless. So but this is actually breathless, not like the newspaper review. Yeah, so Yeah, by the way, you're very welcome to try absolutely not the a real speed if you want. The Closing of the sound before the rest is a bit so an automatic thing. You stop playing and then stop. But uh, how does how does this finish? Eh? And by the way, the legato also possibly means that that you won't get arrested for some holding and even. I'm not, I think the pedal. Now we get to uh, another favorite of clavia. Pedagogia is a finger pedal, but there's something true about it. <laughs> you look disappointed. <laughs> after, after years of having good articulation. Yeah, yeah. no, it's okay. But, uh, but it's better, believe me, than a, than a general sauce. But, uh, Accelerando that you play the So they are uh, their speaking notes till the end because you then start playing a figuration. Yeah. I'm concerned that uh, so which alien would know that in fact Chopin really wrote Tara Tarara because you take the pedal and in fact it sounds say ya da one doesn't the, one doesn't hear the rest at all yeah. and i understand that there's a certain contradiction or not a contradiction <laughs> but a certain concern that oh he writes pedal and ah he writes uh, the pause but i don't think the pause should be on the losing end of this equation mm -hmm. and the pedal is just essentially he's saying so there should be some acoustic some some resonance of the <laughs> But uh, we should hear that it's not because otherwise it's every time the mouth is open of this figure. Ta 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 ta
So, but you, you, it's a, I understand it's not easy to to change uh, or to try uh, changing, but but I think the hands are used to so a relative comfort, so a, a comfort of this piano. So it's all work, but uh, but it's uncomfortable. Should be. <laughs> So then he understands that this has to be also uh, varied. Huh? <laughs> Can I be useful with? Uh, can I say that uh, perhaps also when you're at home that you should try to uh, de-automatize the the time of the resolution that you know because this is very habitually automatic it seems that it comes whenever it comes after the first note. But what would be nice is if you had at your disposal. Uh, 99 uh, gradations of but when it comes very quick and very soon that it's on purpose not a it's not a um, figuration in the hand so it's um, it's pronounced okay. I, could, I could say that you don't for my taste pronounce the second note so it, it comes as a certain result of the first note, mm -hmm. but not a tia, 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 tia. Mm -hmm. Of, you know, of this uh, second note. I don't think this is so abgespielt um, quick. two notes. is very quick this so it's uh, even if one believes if I don't remember if this is Cortor this is Chopin but it's probably not bad it's not on the first measure uh, the uh, the piano but on the second Um, 
an appearance with you this is uh, all, all good but uh, where does it come from it comes uh it's not to hear the entrance of the voice so the bass plays a function from before I guess for me it sounds a bit too banal with So I guess they're also sighing. Cannot be even values. one is very soon uh, too soon uh, because this one has its own tension uh, Let's not forget the hyperventilation, a favorite thing here. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> So uh, everything, everything uh, given for the uh, better life of the top voice. But So this one goes, and this is another entrance, don't you think? It's not the Chopin didn't write the melody. So, yes. No, but then, but it's not only an echo, but um, it's a polyph polyphony that one. accompaniment is having a more interesting life for itself this year. <laughs> Depending on the situation, it reacts each time. Aha!
So, uh, you know, he liked Mozart, Mr. Chopin, he liked Bellini, and he, but he also saw Bach and this whole, this whole polyphonic thing is, uh, anyway, it's very polyphonic music. <laughs> It's also, you could see that this would appeal or be very understandable for Schumann because there is a certain um, kind of manic quality of obsessiveness of it. Not very far from. <laughs> so, and somebody will kill me. Uh, so I don't mean... <laughs> it's not, uh, again, not dependent on crescendo, depending on this pronunciation. Now, of course, one could say, well, it's too much uh, of this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, sorry, but again, not... sure that it's such a straight continuation <laughs> because uh, <laughs> you understand what I mean that it's not uh, <laughs> and he even doesn't slur it like this <laughs> interesting mm, uh, grouping possibilities there, less so not so expected. By the way, I have a feeling that uh, um, Mr. Rachmaninoff was quite taken with this uh, when he wrote <laughs> exactly the same so also and some more and some more and how it's it's built is, is very related and of course you know the recording of Rachmaninoff playing this which is uh, a towering example um, so from anywhere here uh, <laughs> It's good, so terribly romantic, but on the other hand that you see that this was so a very clear thinking individual, and especially a composer with certain uh, clearly worked out strategies of how to spin this thing out. Uh, so it's not all in a sort of dream about uh, George Sand. Uh, but when there's more notes, I think there's more mm, 
in a good sense, struggle to pronounce them because you play it. And anyway, I think this, so he had to write uh, four eighth notes and then six tuplets in quarters, but I think it's, again, a certain uh, speaking. So it's not a eighth note, six tuplets. I understand the feels but could imagine that it's so um, agitato and now in a different way in this so I am singing my uh, chest out that it's even cannot continue succeeding as a melody anymore so so there's only sort of the feeling without the melody <laughs> cannot continue getting louder, so it even is soft build. <laughs> so uh, it's out of the abundance of feeling, because very often it sounds like A, people start, the piano starts something new, and now so, now yet I'm busy dirigiering, and secondly, that it seems that, okay, he had good inspiration for the tune, and then there's a bit of a lapse of, um, of inspiration, but uh, I think he was uh, so... <laughs> And it's very cleverly getting ready for. <laughs> so it's it's he's so um, closing the 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 seams so the thing the thing will make a, an exposition. <laughs> So you want to do a but even he writes for Sandra for you. Do you see somewhere it says that it's a particularly short note? Me neither. Also, I don't see that it's slurred with pedal, especially if this is. I guess all of them are in some way uh, not uh, flippant. I'm not sure this is uh, uh, a recipe to the soul of the, the listener. I don't hear a singer playing. It's not, uh, it's not quite yes. <laughs> Play the, the soft ones, uh, so called soft, the piano, uh, like it's uh, even more terribly affecting you because the impression is that so uh, forte okay I'll do the, I'll do uh, as the favor but then it's for it's it's piano from uh, shivering that this is such a harmony I 
I'm sure, I already said this about Mozart, but I'm sure <laughs> true with Chopin and I think with most of composers, I think he's very proud of this modulation because this is not something that uh, every other uh, person on, uh, on the Parisian street was modulating like, so So I'm sure when uh, Liszt came over to hear it, he was like <laughs> But you're a bit so Would be anything still even today sounds quite adventurous it's not very far from Bartek then this uh, so uh, <laughs> by the way do you know the Strauss burlesque for piano and orchestra because the, the party shtick of this is there <laughs> So, uh, so that from a, from a uh, diminished chord you could modulate anywhere. So. Anywhere. So this is one of these so, uh, moments where Chopin does the same thing. Where is this going to modulate? Uh, Even at all. And then it, um, so it's a rather head spinning in the in the best sense. But uh, but if you play it uh, if you play it like well this road has been travelled by millions of piano pilgrims then then <laughs> then it's a bit so uh, um, buried yeah so um, no? from here then finally when he figures out his way out of this modulation which was not a given For me, you play a bit easy and also. And only here. So before we cannot really have a G natural. So they don't play it generally. Maybe I've uh, I have a big hand, but I would consider <laughs> No, you don't need to you don't need to do this, but uh, but then that we don't just hear the octave, but we hear... Are 
resolving, like ta -da -da, that that you play like if that you play them, uh, it's all like an automatic afterthought. But ta ta ra ra ta ra ra, it's still the pronounces and it's not ya da da ta ta da ta ta ta. This is disturbing. Uh, one more time. <laughs> if we it's not very different from Stravinsky so uh, you know that so he shifts it by one so what happens then Needle. Aha. yeah from surprised I think this is the stop and go in a good sense this is a sudden uh, so restart it's not a So in this so, so-called masterclass situation, so what can be left with you that's useful? One of the simple left use, useful things is that um, to see which one is uh, which one then is not like the previous, which is very often the case. So, but this is very. But you play too similar. You play. So without without this shift, it wouldn't be possible to continue for him. So you cannot um, overlook it. Yeah, from. Uh, But you're not playing. This is a, it's so it's an octave because it's double bass and cello. But it's not a, now that the motion is different that the character of the motif is different. It's not a, it's it's agitated, but it's not a ticket. And this is so. Look, he go. He really goes out of prop, out of the frame. Tries to, and so it falls back into failure. In the, in the best sense. By the way, this is obviously clearly so Tchaikovsky is then inspired by this. So <laughs> even by this kind of uh, uh, sequencing. So um, very heartbreaking from me. <laughs> Let 
us hear the motive, then it's not a good pedal. <laughs> so intently. ventilation before. Yeah. It's not a... Um, basis and uh, we lost the balance with the other possibilities like not all the way with, uh, this is also with pedal but it's so barely up but then one hears even some of the tatara but you open it very much uh, and then we're sort of in a, in a big uh, sinking ship Imagine that this will go into B flat. Uh, no. <laughs> so this is another so B flat that we had in store for for us. It's a bit uh, watched recently with my kids, the Indiana Jones, uh, and you know when he goes into one of these so uh, ancient. Uh, tunnels that contain the treasure and then so then the, 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 these spikes and these arrows and this starts to go through the floor and the stone falls from the top so this is uh, this is like the indiana jones <laughs> Which you remember where that comes from? Where does this come from? Yes, and even more, uh, I think, from uh, Hallelujah. <laughs> 
it's, uh, it's no, not so hallelujah. It's more, much more desperate. It's more like a SOS. have let us stay anyway much longer because I am uh, like a uh, uh, train with, uh, with the Verspätung and so it accumulates so it's, uh, plus 10 minutes plus 5 minutes and then the train is cancelled but um, um, let's hear the very end please uh, so wherever you want maybe <laughs> Wherever. Let's do from here. There's a, yes. A, mm. whatever, whatever we do, uh, we leave here. Let's have the um, result that you don't play this staccato because they're not. <laughs> Carefully, that not so much. Whatever moves is important. Yeah, this is a terrible breakthrough. This is so the, the already the uh, the peasants are bursting into the estate and are about to burn the whole thing down. They say, <laughs> so don't uh, wait. We are coming here. We shall burn the villa down, okay? with buckets of water, they're more with the uh, uh, sticks, eh? there's no pedal, even for Corto and for Chopin. <laughs> Again, the peasants that are burning the uh, the estate down, they are uh, ruthless, but they have the so uh, the goal of triumph. So I think it can continue strettoing, but not in a way that's unrelated to what just came before. <laughs> take it to the extreme then it drives into the into the wall and I imagine also that there's not a the grand pedal because Paderewski did this uh, when he did it maybe it was okay but they <laughs> because they <laughs> the whole thing remains breathless <laughs> moment that 
that I don't know if you feel or not that it becomes just a so operetta a bit cheap that this you cannot afford because you play it and you want to read it cannot be this it's not that it's each time you push a bit more the villa down and they sat at the dining table and had themselves a fine dinner because you do it because somewhere you are taught it's a noble sound a bit more time and so do something here but he why why wait So uh, I think it's a clearer piece in some way. It's a much more extreme piece in, in many ways. And, and just because it's from the romantic age doesn't mean that the pedal is so generously um, dispensed because we are generous people, especially on modern pianos. But this is l or not only to do with the, with the pianos. But, um, but so especially... I, I guess you could say really in anything, but especially in the so-called sonatas of his, then, then this is very strategic in music, and at the same time very emotionally uh, in distress. Mm -hmm. and, and so the first version for me was not clear strategically and not in distress. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the distress has a lot of variety, obviously. Mm -hmm. so, uh, or yeah? Okay, so it's a lifelong journey with this piece. <laughs> Good luck. So if there's anybody still out there in cyberspace, thank you very much. This was IMS Prussia Cove. And if not, well, hopefully you're asleep or doing something better. And thank you to Bechstein for hosting us.